Hey everyone, this is Bo from the My Server. I'm here to do a video on an event that just came out recently and it is called the Sound of Spring Love Blooms event. Oh my goodness, there's flowers everywhere. It is after all Mother's Day, so let's go ahead and get started on this event. If you guys go to the Mabinogi website, you will see that Luke is back and he has fallen in love. Oh my goodness, you are basically going to be playing matchmaker with this guy and helping him do some errands. For this event, you're basically going to have to stay logged in to receive Heidi's notes every 20 real life minutes. As you receive a note, you will be able to turn in the notes for bouquets that you will have to return back to Luke. You can do this up to 6 times per day real life. Now for this, you're basically going to have to be running back and forth from inside Dunbarton and outside Dunbarton, so it's a really easy event. Once you turn in the bouquet, you'll receive a gift box of gratitude. That's basically a box of random goodies. And if you do this daily up to three times, you will unlock another quest. And that quest is going to help you get this awesome prize. What? Why is it cut off? Dang it, Nixon, you guys. Why you guys set up the website like this? Ain't nobody can see this picture. Now I gotta like zoom out or something. Let's, how about that? Oh, it's too small. Zoom in a little bit more. All right. So that is basically one of the rewards that you guys can get uh, as the final, final rewards uh, around the end of this event. So kind of nice, right? It's a little pond, cherry blossom tree and pond for your homestead. Not only that, but there is also a homestead swing bench that you can sit on. Two people, looks like it, and really nice, very cute. Definitely would want to get that. So this is how you guys can get those items. Now if you guys do the daily quest for a total of up to six times, you'll get three gift box of care and gratitude. That's basically a typo. Then it goes to five, then the homestead swing at 18, and 22 times will give you the cherry blossom tree and pawn. So if you guys do this consistently enough, you will be able to get the rewards. Now you might even get lucky and get the actual swing bench and stuff from the gift box of gratitude rewards. So that is uh, the new stuff on the top here. I'm not sure where the cutoff point is, but basically usually they put the new stuff on the top. And then a bunch of all the old homestead stuff, all the flowery homestead stuff, and some random stuff you guys probably don't want. Uh, materials and whatnot. The gift box of care and gratitude will kind of cut down the junk that you guys don't want and make it a little bit easier for you guys, but it's still kind of meh. I mean, there's homestead seeds in there, so it's like, ugh. And I know next one's kind of vague and showing the new stuff for the spring stuff, so I kind of wanted to show it to you guys through the Mabinogi Korean site. I haven't actually seen some of these, so hopefully they are actually in this event. But if they aren't, I'm sorry. I did my best to share what I could know. <laughs> Alright, so basically to start this event, you will have to talk to Luke right here and choose your main character. Once you've chosen your main character, he's gonna be like, Oh my god, I really like this girl, you know, hook me up, girl. So you're gonna have to help him and talk to Heidi, which is literally just standing right outside of Dunbarton. <laughs> so basically, I don't want to get too much into the spoilers of the story, but it's rather interesting, so make sure you guys read the dialogue. I think it's kind of funny and adorable. Uh, but basically, you're gonna talk to Luke, and he's gonna be like, yeah, I got this business, you know, that I uh, need you to help me with, and please talk to this amazing looking girl that I definitely have an interest in, you know. <laughs> and you're just gonna kind of have to roll your eyes and be like, all right, all right, all right, I'll help you, man. I'll be your wingman, or, or girl in this case. Um, so you'll see on the map right there, that is where Heidi's located. You literally walk straight. I mean, you guys cannot get lost. Literally rock straight out of Dunbarton at the dirt path. And eventually you'll see the girl just standing there. I don't know where she gets her flowers. She just magically gets her flowers somewhere right here. <laughs> so you just talk to her and she's going to be like, Oh, yeah, about the flowers. I, you know, I know the, the Dumbarton is right there within walking distance, but I can't do it. Can you do it? Can you deliver the flowers for me? 
I don't know, you somehow get sucked into this contract where you're gonna have to help Heidi and she's gonna be like, yeah, just deliver it for me and I make the monies. Yep. That's how it works. I don't know. I'm kind of like altering the story right here because I don't want to share spoilers or whatnot. So hopefully you guys enjoy the story. I actually kind of find it uh, interesting. So anyways, continuing on, you'll be given this contract and you're going to be like, what? What? Oh, okay, apparently I'm a delivery person. Uh, once you've already talked to, talk to Luke about it, uh, then you will now be getting notes every 20 minutes. Uh, talk to Heidi to return the notes and you'll get a bouquet. Go back to Luke and get a box and that's it. That's literally the event. Um, you're gonna have to do this possibly six times a day. Just kidding! You can actually just hoard all the notes if you'd like to in one day and then just kind of talk to Heidi and she'll give you all the bouquets all in one go. So it's a lot easier just rather than going back and forth every 20 minutes, FYI. You know, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> so yes, you can hoard the notes and then just turn it all in in one go. And basically, once you've done that daily, if you do it up to three times, like I said, you guys will unlock a new kind of daily on top of that daily. Uh, and that's gonna give you the gift box of care and gratitude box, uh, specifically from Luke. Now, if you guys are curious as to what kind of prize you might get from the gift box of gratitude box, it's, yeah, it's not much of a huge difference compared to the gift box of care and gratitude. Uh, so here I am, gonna be opening some of these boxes, blah blah blah, materials, potions, might get a homestead item here or there. So it's like really random, um, but I feel like it's not too uncommon to get a homestead item, so it's a decent event. Now as you start to help Luke more and more, you will notice that he's gonna get really persistent about uh, showing his love for Heidi. Um, so he's gonna have you do things first off like sending her a letter and then he's gonna have you start sending her things like actual gifts um, so that is a uh, you know the little story here again I don't want to spoil it for you guys but uh, just want to let you know that you will see a little story here of him showing his love for this girl and she's basically clueless at first um, but eventually it does seem like the love will sway uh, to a certain point However, real life tip, guys and gals, if you guys are gonna gift your way through someone's heart in a relationship, do not do it all the time because that is going to build a certain expectation that they'll have on you and they're gonna be always expecting gifts from you, so don't make that mistake like Luke. I mean, sure, right now we will see some love and stuff, but how will it be 10 years from now? Anyways, the Gift of Care and Gratitude box is a little bit similar to the Gift of Care and Gratitude, um, but supposedly a better chance of getting good stuff. So that is the box, and all it gave me was Homestead Stone. Bleh. But, you know, like I said, it is a gamble, um, so hopefully you guys get some good stuff rather than I did. Now as for the homestead items, here are some homestead items that you guys can get. As you can see, there are some new stuff and there are some old stuff. Lots of springy, flowery things. Uh, so this is one of the items that you guys can get. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the items so you guys can see the name of them. I mean, like it's always good to know how they look like and what they're actually called if you ever were to look for them in game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on all the stuff so you guys can take a look at the names. Honestly, I don't really know which ones are new and which ones are old. Um, I believe uh, one of the newer ones are actually the ones with uh, the lights on the fences right here. So, you guys remember these fences? These trellis fences? Yeah, now there's some that have lights on them that light up at night. Pretty nice, actually. So take a look. These are the names of the items so you guys know what they're called if you guys were to look for them in shops. Alright, that's uh, that's pretty much it for here. Let's see, let me click on this one, I don't think you guys saw this one. I think these are old, unfortunately. Uh, but hey, you know, for those who had a hard time getting them back then, I remember these were actually pretty annoying to get back then. They were a little bit rare and they were pretty overpriced in shops. Um, so now I feel like this event actually gave these uh, flower stuff a lot more easier. So hopefully you guys can get the decor that you want for your homestead. That's all the stuff that I have for now. Unfortunately, I didn't get all of the stuff. Um, I can only show what I can. So that is the new stuff or old stuff that you guys can get from this event. 
Alright, and that is my video on the Sound of Spring Love Blooms event. This event is from May 3rd up until June 7th. Very long event, so you guys have plenty of time to do it. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching my video, and feel free to leave some comments below if I forgot anything. And like always guys, please please please, stay awesome!